Hi, my name's Sean. I work here at Meadowbrook Gourds in the finishing room. And today, we are going to be showing you how to wash the dead skin, dirt, and mold off of your gourds. The best way of washing your gourd is if you have rain in the forecast, letting them sit out in that rain for 24 hours. However, if you have no rain in the forecast, a way of getting around that is using a five gallon bucket. Um, taking that five gallon bucket of just water, it doesn't have to have any additives in it, no Clorox, no chemicals, just straight up water. You're gonna take your gourd, put that down in the water, then you're going to take a rag of some sort. You're going to drape that over top of your gourd. And then you're going to take some sort of weight, like this cinder block right here, and gently put that down on top of your gourd. Um, you're going to want to let this gourd submerged in the water, completely submerged in the water, for at least 24 hours. I just want to show you the difference between a gourd that is soaked and a gourd that has not soaked and how easy it is to remove the skin. Just by using my finger right here, I'm going to run that across there and you can see that skin is coming up. Now if I were to do the same thing on a gourd that has not been soaked, you don't really get anywhere on that one. So that is why it is important for you to soak these gourds. Now, the way that you're going to be cleaning the gourds is you're going to be using a short, stiff bristled brush like this one. And all you're going to be doing is just going over top of that shell, back and forth. Now, I personally like dipping and dunking every once in a while to see exactly where I'm at as I'm going. You can see that that's taking care of this skin pretty quickly, pretty easily. All right, after you've gotten most of the easy skin off with your brush, you're gonna wanna switch over and use a scouring pad to do the rest, to do that stuff that's stuck on there real hard, as you can see right here. Um, to do that, you're just gonna get in there, use a little bit of elbow grease, and work that stuff all off of there. Now, we do not really recommend using sandpapers and that sort of thing on these because that will scar up the shell of your gourd and that is particularly bad if you are planning on using any dyes or stains or anything along those terms. However, if you're just planning on using paints, it's not that big a deal. All right, last thing you do is rinse the gourd off, making sure to get all the dirt and debris off of the gourd. Uh, if that dries back on there, it's gonna be just about as tough to get off as it was before. So you wanna make sure your gourd is nice and clean. Uh, get all those particles off. I wanna draw your attention to one thing on this gourd in particular. As with all gourds, there's going to be different little areas on them, markings on the gourd, the shell of the gourd, that do not come off. This is not skin that you see here. This is actually part of the gourd shell. So no matter how much you scrub at it, it's not going to come off. The last thing before you can start crafting is just to make sure your gourd is nice and dry. Uh, all the water has evaporated off of it before you start crafting it. That usually takes about 24 hours. If you have any questions about what you've seen here today, all you need to do is contact us at area code 717-776-3470 or email us at sales at mbgourds.com.